So to demonstrate the hierarchical navigation pattern, I'm going to use Visual Studio and I'm going to create a new project, a new Windows Store project. And I'm going to choose the grid app template here. I'm just going to name this hub example. Now this particular template will give us our three levels of hierarchy. So I'll just let Visual Studio do its thing. There we go. And I'm just going to run this straight away. So the app launches and takes us to our hub page. Now, as we can see, our hub page is divided into a number of groups. We've got group one, group two, group three, etc., etc. And at the minute, the template just displays different colored grayscale boxes. But a real app would have some really nice graphics here to try and draw the user in. If I select one of these groups now, we're taken to the section page. So the section page gives us an overview of what this section is about and also lists the items which will link to the detail page. So if I select one of these items now, we're now at the third level down in the hierarchy, the detail pages. And in this template, we've just got a box here and some random text. We can get back up to the section page that this item belongs to by clicking the back button. And then we can click the back button again and we'll go right back up to the top of the hierarchy to the hub page. The easiest way to demonstrate the flat navigation style is to use the non-desktop version of Internet Explorer that comes with Windows 8. So if we right click, or if we were on a touch device, we would swipe down from the top or swipe up from the bottom. We get our top app bar. So at the moment, I've got no page loaded here and I can add tabs using the plus button here. So if I go ahead and quickly load a web page. Now, if we go back to the top app bar, Notice that the representation of the tab is a thumbnail image of the website, so that makes it really easy to connect the two together. If I then create a new tab, and for example, open my blog. Again, the blog loads And if we head back to the top app bar, we'll notice again we've got the thumbnail and we can add a new tab. And to switch between tabs, we open the app bar and select the item. So note that it's pretty quick to, to switch between pages. So we can demonstrate semantic zoom really easily by just using the Windows 8 start screen. So I'm on my start screen, I can scroll around. Now I can either hold down control and move backwards on my mouse wheel, or I can go down to the bottom right and click this little minus button. And that activates semantic zoom. So notice that we've lost some of the detail. For example, the tile names have disappeared. And I can scroll around this list a lot more quickly than I could if it was zoomed in. So as well as providing navigation, we can also use semantic zoom to access new features. So one example of this would be naming of groups in Windows 8. So I can select a group here and I can go down and name this, uh, let's call it social media. Now I can choose one of these groups, for example, these plural site demos. And we zoom back in, and we zoom back in right over the group that we chose. So it's a really quick way of navigating around.